Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another product review. And this product is another light by Through Night, my favorite flashlight company to review. I can tell you that while they might not be Surefire or Streamlight, I have been truly impressed with all of their products. In fact, all of my EDC lights are through nights. They have worked great. Well, the product I'm going to be reviewing today is called the Thrower. So this is not an EDC gear review because I believe this is supposed to be a headlamp. Yeah, it's kind of a goofy product and when you look at it you go, I don't really need that. That's so silly. But I can tell you that when it comes to getting all these lights in for review, the headlamps are the ones that I've actually used the most around the house. Everything from fixing cars to being up in the attic to working outside when especially it's getting a little bit dark, it's in the evening. They have just been great. They look goofy, but they function great. So I'm kind of excited to see what this one's all about. I think this is a larger one that has more output. So I'm kind of curious if it's gonna get hot up on my forehead. But before we test it out here in the garage, let's go ahead and adjust the camera. Let's unbox this thing and see what we got. All right, so here's the box it comes in. It's your standard through night paper box. It actually looks pretty cool. I do like their logo. I know that has absolutely nothing to do with the performance of the light, but I think that's an actually a pretty nice looking logo. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up, see what we get inside. Obviously we have the light. All right, so there's the band that will go around my head, obviously. We'll put that aside for right now. Looks like we have a charging cable some spare parts, some silica gel, and the owner's manual. Let's go put that silica gel there. Let's take that off. And let's take the rubber band off the headlamp. And now let's see what we have. All right, so this is a pretty darn big headlamp. Yeah, it's kind of wide. Now, one of the things that I wish that they would do, just kind of looking at this, is move the emitter somewhere in the center. Now, I totally understand they do have the battery compartment here, and so they'd have to work around that, but having it off to one side, I think, is kind of odd. It's not bad, and it does look like, for comfort, it does have a more rubberized padded section here, where the headlamps in the past I have reviewed have not had that. So, that's kind of interesting. So I guess we'll look at the features here. I'm assuming we're going to need to unscrew this and maybe there's gonna be a little piece of paper here which protects the battery, but it doesn't look like it is. So it should be on. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be charged up. I may have to charge it. Let's go ahead and tighten that down and let's turn it on. Let's see if it works, yep. And I'm assuming if I hold it down, it will go through the different brightness settings. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. That's the bright. And okay, so it kind of works like the standard through nights. It has the moonlight mode. All right, so I will look at the owner's manual. I'll see all the different settings that it has. But right now, the construction of it really seems nice. It's always anodized, really nice. The color is fine. I don't see any machine marks or scratch marks, nothing that gives me any pause. My only concern right now is that it's kind of big and the emitter is off to one side. So that's kind of odd if you have it on your forehead. But let me go ahead and read that owner's manual. I'll actually try this thing out and then we'll test it out here in the garage and see what the beam looks like. All right, so I know this was totally worth the price of admission to see me like this. Now, I gotta say, trying this thing on, it's actually pretty comfortable. I'm kind of impressed with it. The headband actually distributes the weight pretty well. And a feature of this light that maybe they kind of redesigned from previous ones is the distance between the light itself and your forehead is kind of larger, so it should dissipate that heat. As I mentioned, one of the problems I had with some of these headlamps in the past is they get kind of warm and they're not comfortable to wear for a long period of time. I did check the owner's manual, and this is pretty easy, that once the light is on, you just hold down the light and it will cycle through all of the different settings. And if you push the light three times, it will have an SOS feature, I guess if you're camping or out hiking. So I don't think I would ever use this because I'm not a hiker and I don't go a camping, but it definitely works. All right, so I'm going to adjust the camera real fast. We're gonna take a little look at this beam, see how well it lights up this garage. After all, this is a work light. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so I'm gonna start off here on the moonlight mode. 
And I have found that these modes on flashlights offer very little value. I would just never use them, even close up. But it does work. It is throwing the light to the other side of the garage, but I don't know if it's enough for the camera to pick up. So now let's just go to the low setting. And there is that. Now I have to say the beam is pretty centered. It has a lot of spill, but I like the fact that, that since this is a work light and a headlamp, it has a very directional beam. I guess that's why they call it the thrower. Let's go through some of these settings here. I guess that is one of the medium settings, really lighting the garage up. And I think you can see that beam is very centered. Let's go to the next one. All right. That should be pretty bright. I don't know if that's the turbo mode. There might be one more setting that we'll try here. And then, yeah, there you go. There is turbo mode. And that really lights this garage up. And from just wearing it here and trying it out, as I said, it does seem to dissipate the heat pretty darn well. So my forehead is not getting hot like previous models. So this thing definitely works. I like the cool white light and it definitely has a centered beam that can be thrown pretty far. So I don't think I would necessarily use this for trying to light up something at further distance, but for working around the house, working outside, it definitely works well. All right, so let me adjust the camera once more and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so besides looking absolutely goofy, this thing does a pretty darn good job. Now, the only issue that I think I've had with it is it does get pretty hot if you leave it on the turbo mode for too long. But as I mentioned, this little pad here and the distance between your forehead and the light does dissipate the heat. I don't feel anything on my forehead whatsoever. The light really does seem to work. So this is just going to go into my household rotation of lights. And yes, as I've gone over, Older, I have found these to be very practical. Yes, they're goofy. Yes, my kids make fun of me for using them when I'm working on cars and doing projects in the attic and so forth. However, they work. And I really like this one because it has a lot of settings and is really bright and throws that beam pretty far. So I really have no complaints with this performance. It does get a little bit hot though, but after turning it off for just a few minutes, that heat does go away. But I think that's just an artifact of using such a powerful light in a small package in any light, any type of emitter is going to do this from your Surefire to the stream lights and the through nights. It's just because we put so much light into a small package, but this one works and it's pretty comfortable to use. And this band fits my head great. And trust me, I have a gigantic noggin and this thing is comfortable. So what are my final thoughts on the through night thrower in cool white? Well, I'm actually pretty darn impressed. So if you're looking for just a nice work light for around the house, maybe you like to go camping, maybe you work outside in the dark, this would definitely be a good option. Now, in all disclosure, through Night did send this product to me for free. So you can decide if that affects my final review and results. But when it comes to my star rating, I'm gonna give this thing four and a half stars out of five. It's not absolutely perfect. I wish that beam was in the center and I wish it didn't get so hot, but I don't know what can be done about that. But it functions, it works great, it looks good, and it's comfortable to wear. Well, I guess looks good from a manufacturing standpoint, even though it makes me look like a complete dork. So maybe I should give it five out of five stars because now you guys get a laugh at me. So you guys get a lot of value. But if you are interested in checking out this light, I will put some information in the description below. You guys can go check it out and decide if it's a product for you. So thank you through night for sending this to me. I enjoyed reviewing it. I enjoyed trying it out. It definitely works. And like all of the other through night products, I have not been disappointed. So four and a half stars out of five. Is this something that you would be interested in and ever find practical? I'd like to know in the comment section below. So, as always, thanks for watching.